Welcome back guys to Factorio. This is me, Massive Dynamic, and we're here starting a brand new playthrough. Something I've been thinking about for quite a while that I thought we would take a look at, and I will explain it to you as we walk down here toward the bottom right hand corner of the map. If you take a look down here, you'll see that this is the edge of the world. And if we open up the map view, you'll see that this details the number of ore that we have on the world. We have 153,000 stone, 583,000 iron, 378,000 copper. I don't know why I'm holding a decon planer in my hand. Uh, 317,000 coal, 2260% oil in one patch and 475% oil in another small patch. So, the plan is, let me see what, I don't have my robots, but uh, yeah, as usual, I am using Faster Start because I find the uh, early game to be kind of draggy and it helps a little bit to have a few helper robots and I won't be needing the bullets, but I'll take them anyway, but I do want the robots. So, the plan is to see if we can launch one rocket with this many um, resources and it's not a speed run obviously because uh, for one I don't do speed runs and for two I'm using robots so that would be cheating uh, but it is a low resource challenge and uh, I'm curious to see if we can get a rocket launched with these this smaller amount of resources and the plan is that we'll do this playthrough and we will keep lowering the resources uh, until we find the point where we can't do it anymore. So that's the plan. So we're going to go ahead and get started by putting a couple of wood in there and crafting my usual 10 wooden boxes. And then we're just going to go walk around the map and harvest every single one of the available stones and trees on the map. The map size, by the way, if you want to try this yourself, is uh, 360 by 360. So that is 10 chunks by 10 chunks. Uh, no, I'm sorry, 320 by 320, which is 10 chunks. And um, the resources, as you saw, are set. So I had to uh, generate a map, and then I had to cycle through the uh, seeds until I found one that had oil nearby, which was difficult to do. Uh, then I had to tweak uh, the settings to get... Uh, reasonable amounts of um, starter resources and then I had to go into the map editor and actually edit the resources down because um, I couldn't find the right balance of resources that I wanted to start with uh, so that was uh, the process there if you want the map seed I can post the map seed if you ask for it in the comments I will do that for you if you're interested but it's really nothing special. Um, it did take a while to find a seed that had oil available at spawn or near spawn. Um, what I did actually was, I don't know if this actually helped or not, but something that I did do was that I, um, I messed with the biter settings because I did turn biters off, obviously, because there's no, this is not about fighting biters in this playthrough at all. Um, but um, uh, I, I did mess with the uh, starting uh, starting area size, uh, trying to. I, I thought that if I set the starting area size smaller, that maybe I would that would generate uh, oil closer. But it didn't really seem to do that at all. And let's see, I haven't found any coal rocks yet. I would like to find some coal rocks so that I don't have to hand dig coal. Let me walk around this way a little bit. I'll make one more. Oh, here's some coal rocks over here. I'm going to get these coal rocks, and then we'll head back and start regular production of things. And grab these. Grab the coal here. And let's see. Yeah, that gets me some coal. Let's put coal down here. And then I'll start to craft all of the furnaces that I can craft and one more trip over here for coal rocks maybe I don't see any over there 
Might grab these on the way up if any robots come flying out. What's that? That's just a rock, but we'll take it since I'm here waiting for the robots anyway. All right, well, okay, that's enough of that. We will get the rest of the resources later as we walk around the planet. Uh, so, that is the playthrough. I hope that you guys enjoy it. I think it's going to be an interesting challenge, something different. I don't think anybody has done anything like this before. So, uh, maybe we'll start something new. I don't know. It's new for me anyway, so we'll start with that. And let's get two of those. And, of course, those will go on coal since we don't have any much coal very much at all. Come on. So we just have to wait for handcrafting. So, as I said, this is the early game. It is not all that exciting. And so the robots do help with... Oh, there's our two mining machines. So we'll get that started right here. And we'll throw one wood in there so as not to waste our precious coal. And then we'll take a run over here while we wait for some more iron to smelt up. And uh, we'll just continue with, let's see if we get any coal out of this coal. Yeah, there's a little bit of coal there. Thank you. And there's a little coal there. And these are just rocks. Okay, yeah, I don't necessarily want those fish, but okay, if that's what you want to do, I guess I won't complain. Let's grab this rock. Yep, that's a coal rock. We'll take that one and that one. The robots do mine those things pretty quickly. As long as you're able to run them over and pick up all the coal, it's not too bad. And as far as wood goes, we'll go ahead and take this wood because this is the only wood on the map. So this is how many, this is uh, limit the number of power, wooden power poles that we can have. So yeah, there's a little bit more rock there, but I think we're okay on the rock right now. I don't think that rock is going to be an issue. Uh, if anything, it's the iron that I'm worried about, but I think we're okay. Uh, the way that uh, I got this idea actually was uh, in a uh, Discord server with some friends. <clears throat> and we were all curious about what it would take to... Uh, what would be the minimum resources to build and launch a rocket in a playthrough. And uh, we, we tried to do the math on it and stuff. And we looked up some... Everything we could find on it and... Um, <clears throat> Everything that we found seemed to indicate that it was somewhere in the range of a million iron would be the minimum. A million iron, a million copper, and coal. And basically, about a million of everything was the kind of what the internet said. But uh, I don't believe that to be true. So we are going to find out what it takes only one need more oh i put that one in the wrong spot no wonder okay all right so these guys let's see can we get a couple more very good i think we'll go there and there and then there get that going Okay, and what do we have? We got two more. So we'll go here. Wrong thing. Alright. I'm going to put my robots down here in my hot bar so I can keep track of them. Maybe that'll keep me from losing them so often. Of course, on this map, it's not an issue. They won't get lost and they won't get eaten by biters. So I don't have to worry about them as much as I do in the other playthroughs. But it's good to know where they're at. Um, I don't I really, there's no reason I should lose them on this playthrough at all. Okay, so let's see here. We want a couple more over there. We have five, six, seven. Let's do 12 there, and then we'll get probably four. 
We'll do five down here. Five on copper. That should be fine. And we don't need any stone because we have tons. Let's go ahead and make the rest of our furnaces. And there's six of those. Okay. Oh, wait a minute. Let me grab one of those and put it up here. And okay, so let's get some more iron started. So we need one and six more of those. Five and one is six. And we're not even going to bother with the iron or the uh, stone. Because we can always get more rocks if we want to. If we need them. Okay, so one there. And there, and let's get just one of those started. Then it's just a matter of filling, filling the uh, machines with coal. Gets us a little bit of copper, which will get us our water pump. We'll get two underground pipes get started Let's see we need we have some woods we need some copper Let's see what we can get here all right let's get a little more copper get one more going what does that get us uh let's see we need power poles Might be a good idea to get some coal into the iron. Okay, and let's start with, I mean, we're not worried about pollution, so we'll start with two of those and four of those, four of those. Four of those, and get a lab, and we will be good to go. All right, this should be able to get us both of those going. Yeah, probably be. Yeah, I was going to say we could go ahead and get a couple more on the coal, but I'm not going to worry about it. Okay, let's see. Do we have everything? We need a lab. So we do have, let's put these there and these there and these there. Uh, we'll put chest there, those there, okay, and then we're going to need belts. Alright, so let's get going on power then. So our one water source is over here. So the question is, do we build the power way over here uh, out of the way yeah let's do that let's just build it over here out of the way and then we won't have to think about it too much no sense stressing over it it's just a power plant we'll leave just a small gap and here and there All right, and then we'll take and off we go. 
towards coal. Do we have enough power poles to make it to the coal? That's the question. And then, how much belt is it going to take to get all the way over there? A lot. That's how much. And no, we don't have enough power poles. So we answered both of our questions. Alright. So. More power poles it is. And then we'll start building belts. Actually, I should have started building... Uh, science packs first, but mistakes have been made and it's not the first time, so we're not gonna stress over it. We'll let that stuff craft. Not gonna hurt anything to build things in goofy order. Doesn't matter. We're not in a hurry. We just have limited resources, so we don't want to squ squander our resources. So I think that the the challenge for a lot of people would be, of course, everybody wants to build a big fancy hardware store and um, we'll get 20 of those. Everybody wants to build a big fancy hardware store. So they have everything that they need right handy, but in this playthrough, that is not going to be very feasible because we're trying to keep to a minimum of excess resources in chess. So we will not be doing that. We'll have a small supply area for the things that we need the most in the world. And we will go ahead and set up our power plant for the future so that as we need it, all we have to do is build the parts. How many is that? I didn't count. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, and 20. Okay, very good. There's our power plant ready. And if we had belts, we would do this. The other question is... How much... How much power will we have to generate... All together, let's take a look at the map here and where we want to run this coal line. Okay, I'm going to run this line a little bit southerly here. Because I think that I want to keep it out of the way of smelting, which is going to be in the north. So we'll come across here like this with that and that will be just fine let's see get that in there and grab our irons and put that in there grab some more coal and here comes our all right let's set up our technology so we're going to start of course with Automation, we don't need anything military, so we'll skip all that. We'll go straight to logistics, steel, green science, and then electronics, and inserters. And then after that, we will go straight for the rocket. No sense checking anything we don't have to do. So we will always check the rocket. So we'll go to there. Okay, and then go back to the rocket. I wish that I had memorized the path, but I 
have not done that ever so we'll get engines then oh we can't get engines because why what do we need steel okay so there's our first tech plan and let's go ahead and fill up our oh here we go everybody's going empty at once okay we have a few belts we have let's see how we doing 12 more of those let's throw those in there and as soon as we can we won't craft anything else by hand until we get a few machines that will allow us to craft things by machine because that's the way Factorio works all right craft it I don't of course we will be hand crafting as always because I'm addicted to it but we're gonna try to automate things in a more effective way than I usually do um, usually I'm usually just addicted completely addicted to handcrafting like out of control handcrafting constantly all right there's our last one of those and let's do speaking of handcrafting we'll get a couple of those so that we can get the science going a little faster and this is going to take forever all right so while we're waiting for that we will go ahead and set up our smelting array and i'm thinking that we'll go right about yeah let's pick up the rocket i don't think the rocket is going to be helpful to us at this point we've salvaged all the parts that we need from it and i i don't believe that the robots can pick it up they can't so we have to have to hand mine it and there's our technology we were waiting for so let's stop that process and get let's do five of those and 20 of those and five of those and then some of those and we'll get five more of those and i think guys that will be the end of this episode so we will pick this up in the next episode when we will work on getting our sciences started and we will see you guys in the next episode thanks for watching we'll see you then bye bye